Hi there, uh, another quick video from me. Um, uh, Windows Vista has a few problems. Uh, there's a lot of flaws in it. It's so, sometimes quite slow. Um, I'm going to give you a few ways uh, to speed up your system. Uh, I don't know how much, depends on what computer you've got uh, and what specs it has. Uh, but I'm just going to show you a few, uh, a, f um, a few ways. So say if you go onto the start menu, uh, if you go onto there, uh, and then you go onto computer. Uh, and you should see it on the top uh, under the taskbar uh, it says uninstall or change a program if you can come to that if I just uh, maximize this for you to show you it'll take a sec just to load up all of the um, all, all the settings and features that you've got on the, the system all the things that you've downloaded and installs i.e. games uh, any extraction files uh, antivirus files anything like that Adobe anything you've got on there at all that you've installed manually or that's been on your system before uh, just give my system a little sector load up right some more are popping up there um, I've got all of these on mine uh, you may have less or you may have more depending on what you've done with your computer um, say things you don't need say things you've downloaded or say games you've installed that say you don't use anymore uh, if you just click onto them, let me find again. I haven't got any games on here because I've just taken them off. Um, if if you click onto any of them, if you say if I click onto Windows Live Mail, and you go up to any of these boxes here, if you're either on a re repair, if it's not functioning properly, that may speed up your system a little bit because it's maybe used up a little bit too memory, much memory because it's not working properly. The best one is uninstall. Uh, now, if you choose uninstall, it'll pop up on uh, a window saying uh, it'll pop up. Um, uninstall wizard and it will show you the steps of to uninstall, this, uh, to uninstall that certain application that means that it will be off your system for good and it means that it should speed up your your computer because it will means it will lose you, uh, less RAM up uh, with actually opening the application because it's not there and it will free up some space on the hard drive uh, let me show you another little way as well if I just exit this uh, say so go back to your start menu and go on to computer yet again and if you go into system properties here, uh, next to uninstall and change your program, if you click on that, let me just maximize this for you, you should have something like this pop up. Uh, it should be in, in the right, uh, top right hand corner with the little Vista sign, uh, whatever your computer uh, make is, and all of your um, settings, just, just your bog standard uh, layman's settings that everybody should know about the computer. Um, that should ch show you there uh, your rating of your computer. Mine's not very good because my graphics cards uh, I've, uh, recently changed it. Um, if you go to um, here where it says change settings, below where it should say your um, your make of computer, if you click on that, and if you go to advanced on the top here, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's third one across, and if you go to where it says performance, visual effects, uh, visual effects processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory, if you click on settings there, uh, it should pop up with a window like this. Um, it'll have loads, it'll have visual effects advanced, data uh, execution prevention. Uh, if you go onto here and adjust for best performance, um, it means that it'll turn, uh, your Windows error will be turned off, stuff like that. If I just show you what my computer will look like if I do that, actually, not, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you mine as well. If I apply that, bear with it a sec, and it should pop back up now. It should have all gone back to um, old Vista. It, it should, it, it, oh, look. It's the the it's completely changed and but it speeds up the system a lot. But if you want to turn it back to normal, uh, you got to adjust for best appearance. And if I click apply again, and just give it a set to load up, it's back to my settings before. But you just have to change it back and mess with it. Um, if if you want to go to the, um, custom, uh, and you can click off all the boxes, uh, and just click on the ones that you like that you like the look of, it will still still speed up your system then. But you just need to be careful what you don't, what you, you unclick, because if uh, some of the Windows files are too integrated into the system, if you disable them, um, they make all your uh, make your system overload or anything like that. It'll just change the settings, and some of them you cannot change. So just be careful uh, what ones you change. Um, read your manual, or anything like that, to so to, to to know the full details of what you're actually changing. Uh, if you do all those steps that I just told you, uh, it should give you, um, it should, it should, 
make a computer a lot faster. I'll show you a few other ways. Uh, if you go onto that and then computer again, and then system properties yet yeah, again, and I'll just maximize that for you. If you go onto advanced system settings, um, sorry, that was the same thing. Uh, if you go on to performance, sorry, uh, and you go to, it tells you what it is here. And if you go on to um, advanced tools, now you've got a window that pops up here with uh, about five or six different things that you can check your performance with. Uh, if you tick on uh, generate a system health report, what it'll do is it'll take 60 seconds out of your time. It won't let you do many things on the computer. Uh, it, what it will do is it will read your computer on how it works, how uh, what the CPU you're running at, uh, how much memory you're using up, how much RAM you've got left, and it will just pretty much generate what how healthy your computer is, and then it sh what it should do if you've got real major problems, then it will give you tips and solutions on how to resolve those those problems. This uh, defragmenter is also good. Um, I use this quite often with Vista because it, because of the amount of flaws in in it. Um, it's very good because any damaged files or incorrect data in the files <coughs> what it will do is it will, it will just change it it will either delete the file if it's not needed or it will piece together it will find the pieces that are missing out the file and place it back together uh, which means that it will speed up the computer because it's less damaged files on it more complete files that aren't uh, just lying there doing nothing you can adjust uh, the appearance as I just did on that one there that just goes back to it uh, you don't want to mess with that uh, task manager if you open that this window you most likely would have seen it before uh, you can go onto the, the different processes that you've got and you can click on one and if you don't want it to run anymore uh, depending on the size the size that it is uh, the size is here so if it's using up a lot and you don't really want the application open you just go end process and it should come up with a, a confirmation box saying do you really want to close this uh, blah 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 if you want to do it yes if you don't want to do it no um, this reliability and performance monitor will do similar to what the uh, uh, the, sy the system health check will do, uh, but it'll only do performance. Um, the system health check will do like uh, memory or that kind of stuff. This will do how fast your computer's running at and what's wrong with it. Uh, view performance details and end event log. I wouldn't do this unless you're an advanced user. Uh, it's very difficult um, to find anything on there. I sometimes find it hard to, to use the event log. So I, I I would say not to do that. And any ma ma major performance issues are up here. Say, performance uh, performance can be improved by changing visual settings, view details. That's what I just shown you earlier. That's the only that's the only rule on the one that will pop up. If your computer's got a major problem, then it'll pop up with several more, and then it'll give should give you solutions uh, on how to do that. If it doesn't, uh, if you go onto the um, on onto your internet browser and go onto Microsoft.com. And just type in on the uh, on the search bar um, performance um, uh, uh, performance uh, enhancements, and it should go on to. You can download a few patches that will change some of your systems around. That'll make it so that it is faster and it's stopping the problems. Um, I hope this video's helped. Uh, if you've got any questions, just ask me and subscribe. And I hope it's helped. Thank you very much. Cheers.